In this video, guys, we're gonna look at the two different types of algorithm. There's two distinct different types. Let's not get them confused. Let's go into detail. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. All right, so we talk about algorithms a lot on this channel. We see a lot of blog articles. I see a lot of people talking about algos, but often I think people get a little bit confused between the two distinct different types of algos. So this short video, let's cover the two different types of algorithm, what they're trying to do, maybe some examples of some. Now, I'm not gonna go deep dive into algos, done other videos on that where we talked specifically about the rules and the kind of terminology that goes into and what each of these algos are trying to do, but we'll touch on some of them here. What we're going to try and do is distinct, distinguish between the two broad types. Now, um, there are two broad types of algos out there. Okay, The first one is a profit-seeking algo. And a profit-seeking algo, pretty much self-explanatory what it's trying to do, it's trying to make profit from its execution. So algo, we probably don't need to go through this, but an algo is an automated program that is executing orders. So no human intervention, it's programmed with code, and it will say, if this, then that. So in other words, if the price is this, then do this, or if this indicator is this, do this. If something, then place an order, or execute an order or adjust an order. You get the idea. So profit seeking is the first one. These are algos that are out there specifically to make a profit. That's it, that's all they're interested in. They're interested in making the most amount of money possible. And examples of those are gonna be strategy driven algos. So a basic algo that you may well code in MT4, you might code in TradeStation, NinjaTrader, whatever it may be, C++. You stick it out there and let's just say, for example, for argument's sake, when the price is at 100, then sell from uh, 100 and put an order in from 100 and 100 and 200, 300 and 4 and sell some at 99. Not the greatest example. A better one, easy one to work out would be, okay, when this moving average crosses over, fast moving average crosses over, slow moving average, then execute my buy order in XYZ stock. That would be a very root, uh, fundamental algo, very minimal rules, but it's an algo nevertheless. And you might say, okay, when price spikes more than 20 ticks in one minute, then go long and put a stop below the low. So very simple, but that's like a strategy driven algo. All right, another one is a predatory algo. So a predatory algo is something that will go and look to make money based on different interactions with the market. Specifically, predatory algos are there to try to capture profits from HFT firms, from some other firms. So these algos, or, or they will try to capture profits from this group of order filling algos. We'll come to these in a second, but let's touch on it in a moment. Order filling algos are there to execute large numbers of shares or futures contracts or whatever it is, large size over uh, a period of time so that it kind of can do it without moving the market and showing its hand too much. So it's like buy a little bit here, buy a little bit there, don't do anything, buy a little bit to fill a whole order. We'll go to that in a second, but a predatory algo wants to try to sniff out these larger order filling algos and then front run them to make some money. So if it finds an algo that it thinks is executing, let's say 500,000 shares in a stock that really needs a lot of work to execute 500,000 shares, then that predatory algo might then bid up that stock knowing that the other order filling algo is going to try and bid up that stock and capture that, uh, capture that, those, that liquidity and so we'll make money off that. But anyway, Predatory algo strategy driven, those are there to seek profits. The second one we're looking at is order filling algo. They're not interested in making profit per se on the algo. Of course, the ultimate goal of anyone trade placing a trade, generally speaking, is to make a profit, but these algos are programmed purely to fill an order. And generally, you're gonna use an order filling algorithm when you can't just go in and buy the amount of quantity that you want. So you and I, could go in and buy 10,000 shares of Apple in a, in a heartbeat. There's enough liquidity there, it's not a problem. If you want to go in and buy a couple of million shares of Apple, you're going to start moving the markets. If you want to go and buy you know, 10,000 lots of crude oil, you're going to start moving the market, even 1,000 lots. you know, 1,000 lots is probably a good example. It's not massive, but it's, it's enough to really move the market if you went in there and just decided to buy. And that's why we have those liquidity vacuums, by the way. But anyway, the order filling algo is there designed to try to split up that order. Let's use that crude oil example. 1,000 lots of crude oil 
into different chunks at specific times and execute a little bit of a time. So a volume weighted average price would be there slicing it up based on the volume volume coming through. So there's a lot of volume in the morning, let's say for every thousand um, contracts traded, it might attempt to trade 25. So you get a thousand, get 2000, does another 50, get 3000, does another another 75. Then, then when it starts to get thin in volume, you might only do one or two, but the idea is it splits up and executes throughout the whole day and tries to get the volume weight average price over the day. Um, so that's one way of doing it. A TWAP, similar kind of thing, but just time weighted average price. So again, splitting it up into time as opposed to volume. Time slice is when you're executing a specific number of shares or contracts at a certain point in time. So every 15 minutes, maybe it fires off some every minute, maybe it puts them in, you get the idea. Iceberg where it just shows uh, a very small amount of the top. So let's say you've got a thousand contracts, it might show 10 contracts. As soon as that fill, that's filled, it put another 10 on, another 10 on, another 10 on. So there's a bigger order under the kind of surface, if you like. And then a peg or best bid, best offer is basically just an algo that is trying to execute um, at a specific level. Order filling, there's not necessarily a large order, but it's like, okay, I always want to be the best bid. So let's say you're buying 50 contracts of crude oil. You sit at the best bid, the price moves up, then your 50 moves up, it moves up, it moves up. A peg order, similar, but you might have it offset by two or three ticks in case someone comes in and sweeps the market or best bid or best offer the other way around. So those are order filling algos, guys, completely the opposite to profit seeking in terms of their objective, but ultimately they're all algorithms, they're all programmed to do something electronically but I want to distinguish between the two because often these guys have got really irrelevant uh, in terms of you know, they're not trying to make any money, but they can be useful to us because we can spot them or we can kind of leverage on them, especially these iceberg orders, which we talked about before in other videos, then there's some opportunity there. These ones, you know, not so much. These are kind of something that you might code up yourself, not necessarily the predatory one, but the strategy-driven one specifically. All right, guys, two types of algos. Take care, whatever you're doing. Bye-bye.